Well, Palestinians often struggle to support family members in prison. But since 1965, they've had some help in the form of monthly allowances from the Palestinian Authority. Now, last week, Israel passed a law that will put those payments on hold. TRT World's Sarah Balter has more. This image of a Palestinian man looks on as his nieces and nephews play in Bethlehem. But Ashraf Abu Sror is in an Israeli prison, as is his brother. He was convicted of killing an Israeli soldier who was raiding a church. And his family can only afford to support themselves and their loved ones with money from the Palestinian Authority, or PA. The salary payment is divided between me, my children, and my husband. When we visit him in prison, we pay the canteen for his cigarettes. This month we paid $285. The salary is not enough for us. Now Israeli authorities no longer want families like theirs to receive that financial support. But Palestinians are pushing back. I think that the Israeli government's decision to cross this red line and ban payments to the families of prisoners and martyrs means Israel does not even think the Palestinian Authority exists. Palestinian officials say more than six and a half thousand of its people are in Israeli prisons. It considers them heroes and pays their families a regular income. In total, 28 million dollars per month. But Israel says the payments encourage more violence. The country is now withholding millions in taxes on Palestinian imports from the PA thanks to a new law. The U.S. also says it will withhold more than 300 million in aid. Both say they'll only release the money if payments to Palestinian prisoners' families stop. President Mahmoud Abbas says he won't comply with those demands. These are our martyrs, prisoners and wounded, and we will continue paying them like we have been since 1965. But without U.S. aid and their import taxes, it could get harder to pay families like Umarafa Abu Surors, whose daughter and son are both in jail. The payment is everything for us. We use a salary for our vital needs and to give my son money for the prison canteen. Money that isn't just key to these families' survival, but the only way for some to feel connected to loved ones behind bars. Sarah Balter, TRT World. Let's cross now to Issa Amro. He is a human rights activist and a founding member of several non- violent organizations in Hebron. Hi there. Palestinian Authority officials say they will continue to make these payments, but tell us, is that really fiscally possible? Yeah, first of all, uh, you know, the main uh, source uh, and feeder of violence is the Israeli occupation and the Israeli settlements. That is the main cause of violence. If Israel wants to stop violence, they should in their occupation and in their uh, settlements and make, uh, uh, you know, make right, themselves but, accountable. Right, but they, they won't stop. And in the, in the meantime, they have vowed to stop these payments. The Palestinian Authority is saying yes. they will make those payments regardless. I'm asking, is the Palestinian Authority able fiscally to make those payments if Israel withholds those taxes? Yeah, Israel is uh, freezing a uh, lot of uh, money and they are violating the international law and violating even the agreement between the Palestinian Authority and the Israeli uh, government. I think as Palestinians, we are in a serious trouble. The families of the prisoners and the martyrs will be suffering a lot and they will not have any source of income to cover their, you know, their basics for education, for food, for uh, for water, for, you know, tra traveling in their, within their, their own cities. I think the, the Palestinian uh, government will suffer a lot and we will not have enough money even to pay uh, the expenses of our uh, employees and our uh, prisoners and everybody in, in, in Palestine is afraid and scared from the blind support from the American government for the Israeli far-right-wing uh, government who are extreme and racist, and they believe in apartheid, and they believe okay. that Palestinians should not deserve the basic right. Let me ask you, though, is there a more, perhaps, strategic way for the Palestinian Authority to go about this? For example, instead of, you know, talking about payments to their, their martyrs, whom Israelis see as terrorists, I mean, can they instead make Social Security payments to families who've lost breadwinners or just live below the poverty line? Uh, 
you know, the, the, the payment is to cover the basic needs of the Palestinian uh, uh, families of the prisoners. It's to cover the food inside inside day for the prisoners themselves. Israel is responsible to give them uh, food, but unfortunately, they don't give them food. And uh, we all know that Israel is paid uh, the terrorists who killed Palestinians and who are now uh, in jail for uh, killing Palestinians. And the uh, Israeli government paid uh, um, a lot of money, millions, for the Israeli right wing, uh, you know, uh, as price tag campaigners. Hundreds of millions of shekels were donated to the settlement. And if we want to talk about, you know, who's killing whom, the occupation is killing the Palestinians. And the occupation is uh, oppressing the, the Palestinians. So this is a call for the international community to support the Palestinians, to steadfast and okay. remain strong in front of the Israeli occupation. We as Palestinians, I think we should change our uh, alias and we, we should change our international strategy to depend on other countries, not to stay, you know, depending okay. on the uh, American aid or any other aid. They are, according to the international law, hostage in, inside the Israeli military jail. Okay, Isa Amro, thank you so much for joining us there from Hebron.